oh, hold on a second, this one a little bit smaller, and then have this one be the wider column, if there's going to be a wide column, and then maybe increase the margins a bit uh, uh, this way till it fits like that something like that right you could play and then and then if you want the header to be to be a different color or something we saw last time we made the header maybe we just do the header in here like black and white and then you could put like borders around it if you wanted to put borders around it although if you did that you'd have to then put your underlines with like this kind of underline just saying there's a lot of different styles that you can do in here you could change the font you can do a lot of different stuff you don't want to go overboard with it because it takes time and you want to be consistent with it but that can give that can give you some differentiation from what other people are doing and if i go to the first tab now and i was to go to my print preview then i could see see if i look at all of the pages i want to say print the entire workbook so now i have everything that i can print on one place using my cute pdf printer all right let's go back on over again and let's just do the the other couple reports that we had here so i'll go back to the first tab same thing i'm going to right click duplicate the tab i'll drag it to the right i'll open the next report that i have income statement vertical analysis i'm going to export it to excel export it to excel open it up and then i'm just going to move that what's in that tab to the place i want it enable editing right click on the tab and then i'm going to move it and hitting the drop down to this file boom and then uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna move it there and then uh let's just keep it that i'm going to say save it and then there it is now I'll drag this one to the right do, 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 put it over here and then this is going to be the p and l vertical analysis and so on i'll take a look at the view on this side back to this side it fits on on one page i might want to add another column over here insert a column to, to have the two columns so I can have like this column and this column have the same like margin size so it's kind of centered in the middle of the page I can do the same thing with my header home tab font group black white I could put the borders around it if I wanted to do, 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 put borders around it boom I don't really need this total thing up top what's that doing there I don't know I can remove that I can remove that underline right there if I don't want it so I can do some, a little bit more formatting in here. I can delete these two rows, just just clean it up a bit, you know. And then, so then we can do we can do the last one, Uno Vase Boss one more time. Right click, duplicate, dragging it to the right, and then we can open up number six and close up the ham buggy. We'll hit the drop down, but not too hard. Don't break it stop breaking things for crying out loud when i said hit it you just your your mouse has been smashed into the into the table we're going to enable the editing and then once again right click on the tab down below move or copy and we'll put it into our month in reports okay dragging it to the right do, 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 do. Do, do, double click on the tab p and l this is going to be for the qt we'll say for quarter and then once again i'll go to the tab or the view to the right back to the left it doesn't fit on one uh, page you have the dotted lines right here so you could do some formatting with it but once again if i couldn't format it to fit on one page the next thing would be to go to the page layout and make it landscape so we'll make it landscape so there we have it and now i can fit it within here i can insert a column i know i'm doing this fast but this isn't really an excel course right so i'm just trying to give some ideas and then we can center it and we could make it black and white on the title home tab black white on the title we can put our brackets around this thing if we so choose and we do choose so 
I choose so, so we so choose. And then we're gonna go, boom. So then we have that. So I'm not saying that's the best formatting. I'm just trying to give some examples that you can do more formatting once it's in here fairly quickly. And then we can export this whole thing uh, and, ha and have them all on one file if we use a printer such as a PDF printer like the cute PDF printer. So we can say we can print it and then uh, we might be able to save it as a PDF as well. But I think the printing option is kind of the easiest. And if I print it as a PDF printer, the cute PD PDF printer being, I believe, a free one, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. So you can but that's what I use and I think it's free. And then you could select the drop down and say we want the entire workbook. And then we're not going to use the adjusting of the margins or the scaling. We don't want to use those unless we have to. I don't want to force something to fit on one page because then as I go from page to page, we'll have different text sizes and whatnot, which is what I would try to avoid. So, so here we have it. We've got our balance sheet reports that we did in a prior time. And I know the formatting is kind of ugly and not consistent, but I'm just trying to give some ideas of the different formattings that you could use. And then here's going to be our uh, income statement and then our different income statement formats. So there we have it. And if I export this or print it, let's print it. And it goes to the cute PDF printer. I'm just going to overwrite the last one we did for the reports and let's save it save it and then we'll go in here and check it out so we'll go in and look at it so so like i say my formatting might not be the best format it's not consistent at all but i'm just giving some ideas of what you can do and let's go to the income statement reports here's the income statement reports notice this one was the one that we had landscape but it still shows as a vertical report uh with the pdf printer which is nice, right? That makes it nice and clean. So the landscape is not as big as an issue if you're giving it to someone in a PDF format as it was when you had to staple things because then you had to staple it sideways, right? So it doesn't stick out and look funny in the other reports, which was kind of weird. So you can see the differences between the styles of reports. You can do a lot to this style of report. You can look at it compared to, uh, uh, if I was to print it this way, here's the preview that, that it looks like here. So here's this one, the style of report, which is pretty clean and nice. But like I said, you might want to make it look a little bit different. And then you can compare that to the style of reports. If you use the manage report tool previewing this report, which gives you a header, you can put a header in Excel too. So I could make another tab with a header on it and a footer tab if I wanted to. And so I can make a pretty nice header and footer, although possibly not as easily as if I use like Word, a, a word processing software, but pretty easily. And you could probably, uh, you could integrate Word and Excel if you wanted to get really fancy uh, with it. But we have the reports that actually look like this, right? So here's our, our uh, reports. Do, 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 do. Here, these are the default reports, so it's in the current year. A little bit different look and feel on this one as well, which looks nice, but you can't really do much from that standard default basis, which you can do on uh, on Excel. If you want to change the colors and stuff like that, depends, you know, you can uh, in, in Excel do that a lot more than you could if, with, uh, with like a, uh, a QuickBooks, which might make it stand out a little bit and make it a little bit more personal uh, uh, and, and make it look like you put a little bit more care into it possibly. So that is that.